Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Generation Selects G2 Megatron. And this decal set includes one large decal sheet on foil backing and one smaller decal sheet on clear. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at G2 Megatron, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Generation Select's G2 Megatron looks amazing. I actually prefer this collar scheme opposed to the regular retail Earthrise Megatron. The collars just pop on this guy. They're so gaudy and just so 90s, and I love it. Especially the face right there, those orange eyes really pop, along with that gray face against the silver helmet. Love that. Of course, he's all green with the purple camouflage details. Got some orange paint applications right there on the torso, along with some silver there for those vents. Let's see, down here on the knees, orange decals, more green and purple. And that's pretty much it. I mean, he's got great green and purple camouflage all over. The spear here is a little plain, so hopefully Toy Hacks can fix that up along with the fusion canning looking a little plain as well. So there you go, guys. There is one final look at G2 Megatron before and after. G2 Megatron gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his look thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at the figure, he gets new decals right here on his backpack a new G2 Decepticon logo right there on his chest. Now you do get a few options for the chest logo. You've got these G2 logos with orange on them. The regular, both large and small. I had a small one on there first, one went with the large one. And then you have regular Decepticon logos. But I like that size. I think that looks great. He also gets new decals right there on the shoulders, a square orange one there and a rectangle orange one there. New decals on the fusion cannon is a orange hexagon right there, orange arrows on that side, and a new chrome tip on the barrel. Moving down here to his ab section, he gets new details right there on the sides. A new decal right there that is very reminiscent of his G2 figure with that orange and purple M. New decals right there along the waist. Moving on down to the legs, there's new decals right there below the knees. Oops, I missed this one. Decals right there on the hips. And new chrome decals that wrap around the feet. Now, for the spear, there are new purple decals, but these according to Toy Hacks, go on this side, which is actually the side that you usually see with your G2 Megatron. I like to position mine like this. I put the spear up in under his hand. That way he looks like he's holding it kind of like a shield. So I really like that look and the fact that these decals can be reversed if this is how you want to display your figure. Also, the shield section has orange decals that go along the entire thing. And man, those were a challenge to put on. So there you go, guys, G2 Megatron after. In tank mode, straight out of the packaging, Generation Select's Megatron still looks absolutely amazing. Hasbro did such a great job with the paint applications on this figure. You got the purple G2 Decepticon logo right there on an orange background. You've got the orange grenade launchers right here on the side. 
some orange details right there on front of the turret, some orange circles right there. I'm not sure if that's Autobots that Megatron has killed or what, but I think it still looks pretty cool. That great green and purple camouflage all over. Got the little orange details from the knees that carry over. And down here on the treads, I love the chrome around the wheels. You got it around the wheel there and a little chrome center section. So that looks great. Of course, he's got his friggin' feet hanging off the back. I can't understand why Hasbro is yet to find a way to fold Megatron's feet away in tank mode. But other than that, I love the looks of this thing, and I cannot wait to see what Toy Hacks does for this mode. So there you go, guys. One final look at G2 Megatron in tank mode before. And after. Megatron's tank mode really sets your eyes on fire now thanks to Toy Hacks. Now the first decals you're probably noticing are the new orange panels right here along the sides of the tank. Now you do have some options for these. I chose the one that has the G2 Decepticon logo with the black eyes and this one right here with 81766. I'm not sure what that is. That may be the uh, G2 Megatron ID number, but you have different options. You can do the plain orange panels or the G2 Decepticon logo with those little orange sections. But I went with more of the modern, or not modern, the original G2 style, and I like the lettering on the side. Also, Brand new chrome decals all along inside of the track, kind of like a track bar. And man, does that look good. You really need these pointy tweezers to get in there for those, but I love how that looks. On the front of the tank, you now have Megatron Attack. And that's what the original G2 toy said when you press the head down. So I do like that. Up here on the cannon itself, more G2 throwbacks with big stick and eat this Autobots. This is on the clear decal that wraps around this green section. Also, there's a clear decal right here with that orange crosshairs and little HUD display right there. Also on the front of the vehicle, you've got yellow decals here and right there for the windows. Moving on to the back, You've got the orange decals that you saw earlier with the shield up on top of the vehicle, orange decals here and here, and arrows right there on top of the fusion cannon. And with the feet now, you get tail lights. So I love the looks of that tank. It is just so 90s. So there you go. One. So there you go. Generation 2 Megatron in tank mode after. Listen to the voice of doom. Transformers! I absolutely love this decal set from Toy Hacks for Generation Select's G2 Megatron. It just adds so much more to this already flamboyant figure. And the Generation 2 nods to the original toy just really knock it out of the park. Now, before anyone says anything in the comments, I wanted to compare this new Toy Hacks Enhanced Generation Selects G2 Megatron with my original G2 Megatron, but if you're familiar with that toy, he was way too big to put within this display area. But trust me, the nods are there. Now I also decided to add the extra Decepticon G2 logo right there to the shield, which I think really makes it pop a lot more. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. hoo -ah! Now, one more thing before I finally end this video is I want to give a huge shout-out to my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Larkin's Lair, who has created this fantastic Generation Selects G2 Megatron upgrade set. As you can see, this set gives Megatron his shoulder cannon, which can go up and down, his sensor array, and a pistol to really make your Generation Selects G2 Megatron look a lot more like the original toy. Plus, as you can see with these Toy Hex decals, this figure is on a whole nother level.
So please check out my video right here for my review on Larkin Lair's G2 upgrade set and look for the link to Larkin's Etsy store in the description of that video.